afternoon everybody today i am going to discuss about aptitude tricks you know aptitude is very important part of your, of your competitive exams especially when you will uh, when you are going to appear for ibps exams like banking po banking clerkship and more different type of different sorts of exams okay so you know aptitude consists of different topics different topics include including problems on trains time and work time and distance profit and loss problems on edges different uh, charts like pie charts bar charts uh, etc okay so probability bankers discount and many more this is the video session which will consist the three main topics including the three main topics will include problems on trains time and work profit and loss this is the first video session this session will have certain continuation okay and there will be a part of these sessions where in each part i will discuss about the tricks of certain types of um, tricks about some topics okay there will be in my next uh, video session i can include uh, topics like profit and loss or bankers discount or pie chart or bar chart etc so let's concentrate for the first session okay the first thing should be problems on trains in case of problems on trains just remember few tricks to solve the questions in very quick time during your examinations uh conversion convert kilometer per hour to meter per second so if u is denoted as km per hour it will be equal to u into 5 by 18 meter per seconds so to convert kilometer per hour to meter per seconds you have to multiply u by 5 by 18 conversion from meter per second to kilometer per hour will be just the reverse of this matrix okay so meter per second will be it will be actually uh, if we denote meter per second as v as i have denoted kilometer per hour as u so it will be v into 18 by by 5 just a minute by 5 km per hour okay just remember these two simple things then you will be easily able to derive the answer when you will get the questions from this particular section during your interview okay and what that means there is a relation between speed distance 
एंड और लेंथ एंड टाइम व्हाट इज द रिलेशन इफ वी डी नॉट स्पीड एस एस स्पीड इज इक्वल टू एंड डी नॉट डिस्टेंस एस डी एंड टाइम एस यूजुअल एस टी सो स्पीड इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस बाय टाइम और if we denote length as L whereas length by time whereas D here represents L ok hope you have understand this hope you have, uh, hope you have got the logic what I am uh, going to uh, derive here ok now Come to the next topics. It's time and work. You will get a certain amount of questions from this sec section for sure during your IBPS exams. Okay, so remember the tricks I am going to show here. Try to memorize it. So you will be able to solve the questions in quick succession. Okay. So let's jump to the tricks here. So the basic formula of time and work I am going to show. So basic equal to basic formula 1 by total amount of work so 1 by total work is the basic formula so if you segregate this total work as or total work is denoted as T. So if you segregate or T equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus up to Tn then basic formula will be basic formula will be 1 by T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus Tn Now if X person can do a certain amount of work in y days so it is certain amount of work done by x in y days then work done by x will be what will be the work the amount of work done by x it will be One by y in one day. Okay. So this is about the amount of work done in one day. So if the whole work is done by n days, then the work done by x will be n by y. Now, if a person P can do a 
a work in X days. Okay. And Q can do in Y days. Okay. So if they work together, P works in X days and Q works in Y days. So if P and Q work together, then the total work they together can do equal equal to P plus Q total work will be X Y by X plus y days got it so p plus so so p plus uh, q will be done the total work in x by y x y by x plus y days okay now the another one is Just try to memorize these tricks for your betterment and your success. It's very important and this is very common during your exam hours. Okay. So another is let the person P is doing okay W1 works. The amount, uh, the person P, W1 amount of works doing in D1 days. Okay, D1 days. And to complete the work, the person P is taking H1 hours per day. So what we actually get P is working W1 amount of work in D1 days by working H1 hour, hours per day. Similarly Q working on a W2 project and completed it in D2 days by working H2 hour per day. So what we get actually what will be the equation D1 H1 into P by W1 equal to Q D2 H2 by W2 This will be the equation. Now, another part is about efficiency of the person, okay, which will be included in this formula. Suppose P1 is working a particular portion of work with E1 amount of efficiency. Similarly, for that person Q, he is working with E2 amount of efficiency. In that particular case, what will be the equation? Let's solve it. So P 
person. D this W works with T time and E F E C N C. So P is denoted as person, D is denoted as days, W denoted as works, T denoted as time and E denoted as efficiency. So what will be the equation? Now I am going to show you some universal rules. So let's erase the above portion. Hope you have got already the logic. I always suggest you to watch this video again and again it's not possible to remember everything in one session okay so just practice again and again by viewing again and again okay so the universal rule what are the universal rules P1 D1 W2 Okay Equal to P2 D2 W1 What does this mean? What does this mean? Actually P1 is person 1 there are two persons involved with different days and different type of works involved. Okay, so P1 person doing D1 works in W1 days and similarly P2 person is working um, for D2 days with uh, W2 amount of works. So P1 into D1 into W2 equal to P2 into D2 into W1. That will be the equation for their total workload. Similarly, similarly, here uh, in case of first equation, equation 1, there is no amount of time involved. Now, if you involve time in this equation, there will be T1 time for uh, P1 person and T2 time for P2 persons. So the equation will be P1, D1, T1, W2 equal to P2, D2, T2, W1. This will be equation 2 or rule 2. Again, you can see that here efficiency is not involved. In first equation, there is no time involved and efficiency involved. In equation 2, there is time involved but no e efficiency involved and in case of the equation 3 which I, I will show you just now, here both time and efficiency will be involved and when both time and efficiency will be involved, what will be the equation? The equation will be P1, D1, T1, E1, W2 equal to P2, D2, T2, E2, W1. That will be equation 3. So the logic is similar in both cases, in all the cases, except the M, the particular cost constants is involved in every equation or not. In case of first equation, there is no time and efficiency constraint. Similarly, in uh, equation 2, there are there is no efficiency con constraint and in case of equation 3, every constraints are added. Okay. Now,
we will move to another rule. Okay, so the another rule is if X person can do a piece of work. in n days okay so a person is doing a certain amount of work and taking n days to complete it so in one day the person x will do 1 by n amount of work okay Now, let X can do a work in D days. Okay. Let X can do a work in D1 days. Y can do it in D2 days. So, x plus y together can do the work in d1 d1 into d2 by d1 plus d2 that will be the equation. So, d1 plus d2 by, sorry, d1 into d2 by d1 plus d2 days will take to complete the total work done by x plus x and y, sorry. Okay, now <clears throat> let's move to another logic. Another one will be if if X is twice good as Y then X will tend half of time done by y as simple as simple as that okay why alone can finish the work in Two days. 
square. P is equal to what done by X. Now, If P can do a particular work in X days and P plus Q together can do it in Y days, then number of days required to complete complete the work equal to xy by x minus y days if if Q works alone, okay. Now, if, if P plus Q can do a work together in X days, okay? Q plus R can do that works together in Y days. And R plus P can do the work in Z days. So, number of days required to do the same work will be if P plus Q plus R works together, then it will be 2 into XY Z by X plus Y plus Z days. Okay. If P works alone, then it will be two x y z by x y plus y z minus Jdx days.